Arriving in Pokot, it was very dry, there was no rain, everything seemed to be dry. The people were just walking around, seeing children walking barefooted, some with no clothes. And it moved me. And what even moved me most was when I went to school. And I left Edward and, and Sinew to work in the community, and I remained back in school to help teach uh, the children. What I saw there was really moved my heart. The, the children were in class, there were no teachers, just there helping themselves out. And because I was trained, college training, I had the desire to come back. What can I do to Pokot? That, that really disturbed my, my heart so much. During one time I was here, and when I went back to Nairobi, it really came in heavily. What can I do? Should I stay in Nairobi? No, I thought myself, no. I think I should do something among the Pokot people, no matter how little it may be. And during the process, Edward uh, told me more about Pokot, that we are working among the Pokot, and the Jacobs well have done this number of boreholes in there, and we, we we are looking for someone who may go there as a full-time missionary to stay among them and to take care of the boreholes and just serve the community. That was the prayer answered. I, tell, I told God, yes, God, thank you for giving me this chance. I'm willing to go, willing to stay there and be with the people and use me, God, as much as you want to use me to see the lives change among the children to see what is happening in their lives. That was, that was how I came to, 